Welcome to Wargore TV and episode 67. I'm your host Adam and tonight we're going to bring you 2,000 points of Age of Sigmar from the General's Handbook 2023 through to 2024. We cannot go any further however without saying a huge huge thank you to all our sponsors and patrons that you'll have seen on the intro <laughs> on the way in. You just carry on just destroying the place, <laughs> absolutely fine. <laughs> But a huge thank you. And of course, I do actually get time to say a special thank you to not one, but two new patrons get to join us at the local militia level. So thank you very much to an Andrew Black. And also to a Max Soul as well. Thank you very much, gentlemen. You've been a great asset to us and hopefully you'll help us forward going forward into the future. But tonight, on with the show. We have with me tonight, we have Ben. Hello. And we have Adam. And they have elves between them both. Oh, yeah. We have one of the wooden variety uh -huh. and one of the windy variety. <laughs> yeah, very windy. Foxy, <laughs> Foxy variety. Variety. <laughs> variety. Yeah, yeah that's right. it. But before we get into their lists and find out what they've actually got for us tonight, then we need to find out what scenario they're going to be playing or trying to play. Yeah. Now... There is only one that can tell us about it. And he apparently has three hearts. <gasps> All of them inverted. All we know is he's called the cleric. The ice fields. Andor will not allow armies to claim its bounty so easily. As you meet your rivals in battle, you may find the land hungering to join the fight as well. Each time a unit runs, it suffers D3 mortal wounds. When you make a charge roll for a unit, for each dice, that shows a 1 before modifiers are applied. That unit suffers D3 mortal wounds. You score as such in this mission. Score 1 point for one objective. Another for two objectives. A third for more. Score 2 points. If you completed your battle tactic. Welcome to the Lumineth Realm Lords with the great nation of Helon. Now, before we get any further, we'll have to take a look at that great big purple sun at the back and the five wind chargers, with one of them just in the center there being Severith himself. Now, in front of those five wind chargers, we've got one, then we've got two, and then we've got three units of hurricane wind chargers rounding out the battle line. Then, allying in, we have five Gossamid archers, and leading this merry band is the law master himself, or law seeker, sorry, who's the general, command trait of master of magic. He has the silver wand, the spell total eclipse, and merciless blizzard. This comes in at 1980, and we have a command entourage and a battle regiment. Here we have the Sylvaneth, and Oakenbrow is the uh, sub-faction. Leading the Oakenbrow army is the Branch Witch, who has the command trait of Spellsinger, and the spell Verdant Blessing. Now, next to her, we have the wonderful Endless Spell of Spite Swarm Hive, and behind them, towering over them, the main strength of this army, the Triple D, the three Spirit of Durthrus, with the one in the center there, carrying the artifact of power, the Greenwood Gladius. Now, of course, this does make, being in Oakenbrow, makes the um, Tree Lords, one, two of them there, as battle line, and also we have a unit of Dryads rounding out the battle line, 
And finishing off, we have one, two units of Tree Revenants, both with the full command. And this brings us in at 1980. The Lumineth had been sent to be as swift and deadly as possible. Whilst they traversed the ice fields, they did not want to come across anything as swift and deadly as themselves. The Law Seeker led the column. He could see ahead of him a copse of trees, thinking little of it. Before he knew it though, the trees were moving and right before his eyes, a full Sylvaneth army appeared. So, Sylvaneth turn one after Adam let me go first. Um, battle tactic we went for surround and destroy. So, three units outside territory, board edges. We know the drill by now. Um, primal dice, I failed to get one. Adam very kindly got one. Um, spell wise, my branch witch went for my endless spell, Spite Swarm Hive. Roll some dice. It, it was cast, but I wasn't confident because Adam had his little wizard up on the board. So I threw my primal dice, got an 11. Adam tried to dispel it, rolled a 3 and a 2. He was like, no, master of magic. Rolled an 11. Oof, it was close, but no primal dice if you do a reroll. So I got it cast. <laughs> um, movement wise, uh, my tree revenants teleported from the corners up. There was a little pocket here, just a, nine inches away from here, just clipping the objective as well. And I mirrored it on that side with my other unit. So that was a, a nice little neat trick. So I got two objectives there. I got this one. Adam's little wizard was here. The Spite Swarm Hive gave this Durthu that has the Gladius um, an extra three inch to the charge. So he charged in. And then a tree ward was like, well, I fancy some as well, and he rolled a 9 to get in, so he got in as well. Um, and he didn't I, even get to swing. No, I killed him by stomping on him, it was a monstrous action. <laughs> Squish. <laughs> yeah, after being shot at by them as well, but yeah, that was the turn. Um, so no purple fun for me? <laughs> no, no purple fun, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, it get, gets me my five points. Fox is back, and he's back with a proper list. So, Foxhammer has commenced. Foxhammer turn one. Um, we went for the battle tactic of conserve ether quartz. So, I had to pick a enemy unit, which was a little unit of tree revenants here, and I picked one of my units, which was Pinky, um, one of my Spirit of the Winds, and basically, without using my ether quartz, I had to kill that unit with that unit. So, there we go. We will reveal more about whether that happened in a minute. 
There was no magic because Ben took the quite hilarious decision of killing my only wizard. So that didn't happen. And there weren't any primal dice anyway. So uh, we just went, oh, we'll go to movement because that's what foxes do best. Um, so we started moving. Um, and it's the only problem with this army. You can't really see where things ended up because everything's moved again since then. Uh, but four foxes went this way and picked on Durthu, who is no longer there. So they uh, turned him into a little bit of target practice. Um, and then there is one tree revenant left here, uh, who was picked on by those wind chargers, who couldn't do it with shooting, so they thought, I know, we'll charge them. Um, turns out elves don't like fighting with their hands. Um, they felt all dirty next to those trees. Meanwhile, the battle tactic over here, I thought I was going to do a classic and kill that unit with the wrong unit because I brought these wind charges over, um, shot with them first and reduced them down to one model. And then Pinky went, thank you. Ping did 10 wounds to a two wound model. Uh, so he got me my battle tactic and I've advanced forward a little bit to be on some objectives. So I have matched Ben's five points and we're about to do Pretty important early priority roll, I think. So yeah. You ready? We'll go TV. Ooh. There it is. <laughs> I think Foxhammer will continue after these messages. <laughs> So, Foxy Double Turn, um, which was most appreciated. Uh, and we decided that after that dastardly tree lord squished my general, uh, we would go for a reprisal and try and kill him, uh, turn him into some target practice. So, um, everything was kind of back here again because the foxes moved after they shoot. So, they'd bravely run away at the end of last turn. Um, and they basically repeated their trick from last turn. So they moved up this left wing. Uh, there was, I think we got some primal dice, but we don't care anymore because we've not got a wizard. Uh, hence why we're doing this. Um, so pretty much straight to movement phase. We swarmed up this left wing. The Gossamids did a bit of a screen there. Uh, the wind charges over here finished off the final tree revenant. Um, and then the foxes opened fire on the tree lord. Now, it wasn't all plain sailing because, well, Ben decided that he was going to start saving things and annoying things like that. So after all the foxes had shot, he still had three wounds left. And I thought, oh, God, I'm going to have to charge. I don't like charging. So fortunately, I remembered that I had a unit of wind charges here and they managed to spray him with enough arrows that he failed just enough saves to take him off this mortal plane and get me the battle tactic. Um, meanwhile, these lads have just advanced up here to try and secure some board position um, and everything is kind of just trying to control the middle of the table at the moment. So that's the story of my turn two, really. It puts me on 10-5, um, which is pretty pleasing. What is not pleasing is that Ben now gets to turn. Silver enough. Turn two. Sorry, them, <laughs> them foxes are everywhere. <laughs> um, battle tactic, we went for magical dominance because I killed his wizard and it was a little bit too far away to do the heroic willpower, so thought now's the time, otherwise, yeesh, might not happen. Uh, so yeah, went for dominance. Uh, I got primal dice, Adam got primal dice, so I had three primal dice for dominance. Um, 
And because I went second in the turn, my branch witch was going to cast two spells rather than just the one. Uh, so we decided to bring up a tree. Whoop! Right in the middle of the board. We decided we're going to try and cast Tree Song. Uh, I rolled it. I rolled a like a three and a one, and I decided against adding my three primal dice to it. <laughs> So I used my dwindling reroll and rolled a two and a one. <laughs> so no tree song, but I got a tree, which was quite good. So movement phase, we went to you the tree. You also added movement to Durthu. Oh yeah, I added my Spite Swarm Hive added plus three to this Durthu here. Hence why he's over there. So Durthu, Durthu, Tree Lord came from these trees, out of these trees. We shot into here with this tree lord. We shot into the ruse that were there with one Durthu. And Adam very cleverly started taking them all away from the side I was at. So I decided to stop shooting at them <laughs> and charge them instead. I did have to spend a command point to do it. He was quite reluctant to go out there on his own. Um, but yeah, we got there. He whiffed all of his guardian sword attacks. <laughs> so the Impaling Talon finally got rid of them. But other than that, that was it, because I don't have a lot else. Well, I say that, but I've got two Durthus on the board. Um, I only scored four points. I might hold three objectives, but Adam also holds three, so I don't control more. So it's going to be a very decisive dice roll, this one. Silver enough for the black dice. We'll go to these. Oh, oh, we just take it. It's going to be silver enough turn three coming right up. Uh-oh. Might have been a silver enough turn three, but my god, was it sponsored by the roll of one? Uh, to start with, struggling for a battle tactic because a little bit boxed in, the fox is very quick, so I've got to try and pin them down. So I've gone for intimidate invaders because I need to try and scare them a little bit. Um, to do this, I required one thing a tree. So, branch witch. To roll a dice, bring up a tree. And we did. Luckily, everyone else was still within nine of the tree I brought up last turn. So I could bring them all, pop them over here. The two Durthus shot into Inky and Pinky, doing an okay amount of damage for a, a Durthu shot. It's never, never good, never bad. Charges. We've got no pluses from the Spite Swarm Hive this round because I was too far away. So we're going on 9 inch charges. Bear dice. First Durthu. Charged. Failed. Right, command point. Reroll. We got it. Second Durthu. Straight off the bat. We're in. Two Durthus into three foxes. Beautiful. However, dear viewers, apparently my swords made of marshmallows <laughs> there's still three foxes there is still two Durthus, but i've had three attacks so far separately with the sword and only two wounds have gone through so far they're rowing terribly the talon is doing all the heavy lifting and it's just not enough um battle tactic wise i did get intimidate I do control more objectives this time, so I do score five. Hopefully, Adam can only get the four, try and tie it, otherwise I think it'll probably one ahead, but yeah, I don't know what else to do, viewers. <laughs> Bad dice. <laughs>
Well, uh, Lumineth turn three, and I feel like chanting, he's here, he's there, he's everywhere, Mr. Fox. Um, so it was a little bit touch and go this turn, actually. I, I was sort of looking at the battle tactics, and I realised there was a Lumineth one that I could do by virtue of the fact that Ben had kindly left all my foxes alive because they were still within one inch of the Durthu, which means that they could do ignore the odds. So pick one of my units which is within one inch of an enemy unit, and at the end of the turn that unit has to be alive and the enemy unit has to be dead. Um, so I picked Pinky, who was within th uh, one inch of a Tree Lord, of a Durthu, uh, and I said he is going to ignore the odds, kill the Durthu, and still be alive. Uh, and indeed, there is a dirtu shaped hole here, and there is a pinky-shaped fox there. So, um, so you know, spoiler alert, that was successful. But at uh, start of the turn, we, we actually generated loads of primal dice, even though I don't have a wizard. So we're not really using them um, uh, this turn. Uh, and other than that, it was straight to movement. So uh, the foxes all came in to support uh, Pinky and his quest to kill Durfu. Uh, some wind charges came over as well. And I thought, well, you know what? There's some dryads at the back here who need picking on as well. So the gossamids came over here along with these three wind charges uh, here. Uh, the foxes at this point were all at the other end, so ignore Clyde being there for now. Now, it was a little bit touch and go over here because I was shooting and shooting and shooting. It didn't look like Durthu was going to die because he'd, um, he, he was just saving everything. Um, fortunately, Severith has a flyover move that can do mortal wounds to him, and he, he did three mortal wounds, and that proved to be the difference. So Durthu fell, and then all the foxes bravely ran away. Uh, so I've tried to spread out a bit just to make life a bit more difficult for Ben, because he's now on is it just three models left. Yeah, just the three. So I'm just trying to give him a little bit of target saturation so that even if he wins priority, I'm hoping I've limited what he can do. Uh, but it's really tight. There's only one point in it. It's 15-14 going to turn four priority. Here we go. Sylvan if need this. Oh, Sylvan if get it. Go TV. Sylvan if's going to have to take it. I'm going to have to do something. So, Sylvaneth, we got the turn, we needed the turn. Battle tactic wise, we went for Harness of Spirit Paths, so make a charge and teleport or vice versa. Um, a little bit of a gamble, a little bit out of position, so General, the Branch Witch, she stood next to the Spite Swarm Hive. That was the game plan. So, first she tried to cast her Mortal Wind Bomb spell. <laughs> Failed. It's all right. Dwindling. Reroll. Did it again. Failed. I could have added the two primal dice me and Adam both got, but I rolled a one each time. Exact same scenario as before. Sponsored by once. <coughs> Movement. The Durfu that was here and the tree world that was here teleported over. The Durfu came over here. The tree ward into that far corner over there. The branch witch, after receiving the plus three to charge from the spite swarm, also teleported over to here, nine inches away from Clyde, because Clyde very kindly left a perfect three inch gap away from my overgrown. Durthu shot Severith, did a couple of wounds. We shot over there, did a couple of wounds. Charges, the branch witch, straight in, we're good. We've got that off. Here, Durthu, once again, failed the first charge. Command point reroll, we get there. We hit Severith. Finally, thank the Lord of the Woods. Some damage went through with a sword. I think we did 12 total, enough to just 
delete Severus straight away from the yeah. wounds we did with the shooting. It was ten wounds that got through, which would have killed him outright anyway. Yeah, so it was a mighty effort, but obviously striking and fading here to get the battle tactic, protect the branch witch, because she's the grand strat as well, spellcast and savant, shh, don't tell Adam. <laughs> um, so yeah, kindly gives me another four points, because I still hold on to three objectives, just Adam's taking it away with that holding more. Um, so yeah, we're going to go into Luminef turn four. So Lumineth turn four and I mean Ben's just been a little bit tricksy but we thought well we've killed two Durthus why not go for the hat trick. Um, so we had our sights set on the Durthu that was over here uh, and in doing so we wanted to achieve uh, surround and destroy so three units in range of three different board edges um, which I thought was probably quite doable with this army. I often do that one earlier on, so it was nice to have been able to save it. Um, really, it was all about killing Durfu. If I couldn't kill him, then I was going to leave myself vulnerable, whatever I did. Uh, so I did rather surround him with foxes and gossamids and ruse, and the whole world came in on him. Unfortunately, they, they just did enough to lift him. Um, which meant that I'm not too worried if Ben wins priority now. He's got two models left and only one monster and, um, you know, kind of, well, he's always got shenanigans up his sleeve. That's the problem. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens with this, this roll off, but we've been managed, managed to take back some objectives as well. Um, so we're now controlling, I think five out of the six. Um, we've done surround and destroy. So I've managed to score the five again. And it's 2018 heading into turn five, which we will roll for now. Silvanef, I can't stress this enough, need this again. Come on, Lumineth. Oh, oh no. the foxes get a five. Um, it's actually tempting. I'm just thinking of my grand strategy. I might let you take it. I mean, Silver, I need it. I'd happily take it. Um... <laughs> this might be the biggest mistake of my life, but I'm going to let you take it. Yay! Yeah. Summon up to five! Woo! <laughs> Adam kindly gave us the turn, which I think we definitely needed because if Adam had took it, I don't think I'd have had much left. I wouldn't have been able to score any more points. So, battle tactic, we went for trespassers. Destroy an enemy unit that's within six inches of a wildwood. Clyde, luckily, was trying to kill my branch witch, which is a no, 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 no. So, kill Clyde, basically. Um... We went for Primal Dice. We got one each, so two. Um, the Branch Witch went for the Mortal Wind Bomb spell on the woods she was in to try and do some damage to Clyde. Didn't go off. Um, then we teleported the Tree Lord through some overgrown terrain onto the area where the Branch Witch and Clyde were. Did some shooting, did a couple of wounds, then we decided to charge and for some reason the theme of this game today, um, obviously I had to re-roll my charge, which luckily <laughs> I did get. <laughs> uh, so my tree lord charge and declared. You've got a 100% success rate on re-roll charge. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been amazing to be fair. Um, stressful, but <laughs> good. Um, 
and then we stomped him, did a couple wounds there, and then we hit him in melee, managed to kill him, we, oh, be before that actually, disengaged the branch witch just to get onto this objective. But then after that combat, the tree ward striked and faded back to onto there. So we've got that objective there. We still hold this one over here because Adam's not managed to jump onto it. Um, so I only hold, yeah, yet. I only hold one, two, battle tactic. So again, four points giving me 22 plays 20 with Adam's turn five to go. At the moment, your grand strategy is still alive. Yeah, I've got to keep the branch witch alive. And Adam's a bit tricksy, so we'll see if he can get that at the end of his turn. Okay, so t Foxy turn five. Um, I had a little bit left to do by virtue of having given Ben the turn this round. Um, so really my objective was to kill a branch witch to deny him his grand strategy. I picked the battle tactic of intimidate invaders because I've not done that one yet. And I was pretty much all the way over here anyway. Um, and then my grand strategy is a really weird one because I've lent into the hurricane theme. I've gone with a grand strategy called Hurricane Cyclone, which means that by the end of the game, I have to have three units within six inches of the same enemy unit, um, which is one of the reasons I gave Ben the turn, because I wanted the last turn to try and be able to do that. So it was really just a case of I just moved these two units around to kind of be on these objectives to take this one back off Ben, and then it was really just make sure these three units were within six inches of the tree lord which they are and the gossamids flew into this tower here uh, and shot the branch witch they did uh, 2d3 mortal wounds to her uh, totaling five and that was enough to take her off yeah at which sure point the two, but... the foxes and the ruse just sort of flexed and went we went <laughs> so uh, yeah sorry ben were you oh no i was just saying the branch which only had two left when the uh, yeah. the mortal wounds came through so yeah um, so, yeah, the, the game finishes on uh, objective points, 25-22, so nice, high-scoring, pretty close game, and we will see you in the conclusion. Conclusion time! Well, Elf, Elf, oh, it was always going to be Trixie, but did we realise it was going to be that Trixie? No? I don't think we did. No? <laughs> you, guys are, you look more confused yourselves than actually if, what If my sword yeah. could hit <laughs> that fox! <laughs> that damn, damn fox! That damn fox! <laughs> You're foxy hunting. You're like stupid chicken oh, foxes. You, you, it's all right. You had him. It's all right. You had him there. I know. <laughs> I'm bringing bloodhounds next time. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I'm going to hunt, hunt him. It's going to be fox and hound yeah. next time. Yeah, that's yeah. what it's going to be. It's because you too, like them too much. So, yeah. where was it won and lost then? Apart from not catching foxes, don't use that as an excuse. Or me being sponsored by one for the whole game. <laughs> right. Okay, so we're blaming the dice. Okay. Right. I, actually, yeah. I heard Ben's blaming the channel. Oh, the channel, <laughs> the dice, the foxes. If anyone wants to parking. send me some dice. Yeah, any, yeah. anybody, anybody. Send help. this man some dice. Somebody, yeah. He needs it. Or some help on how to roll yeah. dice. Maybe an um, educational um, lesson. In all seriousness, I think the manoeuvrability of my army just managed to keep ahead on the objectives so there were three turns where ben scored one scored two but didn't score more more uh, whereas i was always able to score the more right um, and then just denying him his grand strategy and get my own at the end that those were the only tipping points points wise yeah but yeah it didn't help that you had two foxes there for the kill and didn't kill either of them yeah when two dirth dudes swing with two swords and, and do yeah. Barely anything. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> so I, I can't honestly stand damage. there and say Ben did anything wrong. No. <laughs> <laughs> Again, no. it was the dice. Yeah, it, it was, was. <laughs> so it was just, just let you down. Yeah, so when you swishing away, you were just swishing at wind. Yeah. And the charges just... Yeah, just, yeah, just, just cyclones, dive dodge. Yeah. Just cyclones. That yeah. was just it. Taking out the one with the gladius early meant that those other Durthus weren't getting the extra attacks. Yeah, um... I, I wasn't too fussed when I put it in the list. I mm. felt like it, it needed to go in because it's it's yeah, always it's what you do. Always what key. You do. Yeah. yeah. The internet says so. Yeah. so. But yeah. in in my head being in Oak and Brow, I was like, well, even if 
any of them hit, they're all going to be six damage. So it doesn't really. So yeah, if I get extra attacks, that's nice. But I'll always have three or four from next to six a tree. Damage each. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I wasn't too... My main concern was trying to catch the foxes, <laughs> which I did, you did, and then I missed. And then you, <laughs> Well, you see, you never told the tree, man, did you? You just basically said, yeah. catch them, and you went, we've done it. Uh, yeah, yeah. You never at any them. point said... <laughs> catch them with a point catch end. Catch them and kill them. Yeah, yeah you just said, true. catch them, and they went, oh, got them, got them. Yeah. yeah. Now let them go. Because after yeah. that incident, they got incident. it. Incident, I like and that. They, <laughs> uh, and they did indeed <laughs> kill two of them. Yeah, so obviously you mentioned to them, by the way, when yeah. you catch them... Did I kill two? Kill them. Killed Severus and you killed Clyde. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. It just feels like there's less oh, more because yeah, of the way they true. dive dodge yeah. yeah move. So yeah. So other than that, yeah. everything went to play. Do you have a twig of the match? Uh Branch Witch. Yeah? Yeah. She gets it. Uh yeah. Because hard deployment. It's fifty fifty. Yeah. Sylvan have struggled when it's short 50 to 50. Short. Yeah, that's right. Because yeah. you need, you're overgrown inside your own, so you can't push up halfway. Mm. Obviously, you don't want your trees being yeah. all the way up because yeah. you got to protect the castle. Mm -hmm. uh, and as you would have seen on the video, she yep. put a string of trees out. I was yep. able to get, get around, which got me to this far end of the board. Okay. And I came all the way back okay. again. <laughs> like, I don't like it. I'm going all the way back. Yeah, but okay. without that, it... It would have been much harder to get around the board. Yeah, I'd have, I'd have been sat there being shot at. <laughs> yeah, just, no, not that you weren't anyway, but yeah, yeah, shot yeah, in different true. locations. So is there a, dare I ask, a fox of the match? I think I'm going to give it to Pinky. Yes. Yeah. I'm glad <laughs> you said that. <laughs> Pinky deserves it, yeah? I Pink, think so, Pinky yeah. got you, like... So many points. He got me a lot of points. <laughs> First battle tactic, I think, was Pinky as well, wasn't it? Yeah, when it was, all was. Yeah, when he killed the tree revenant. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's it. And he was the one that survived with one wound left when the Durthus all whiffed at him. Yeah. Um, and then yes. escaped and, right. and, and lived, right. and lived throughout right. the game. Yeah, so, yeah. It, yeah, so it has um, to go to Pinky. Severith was close, to be honest, but, but Severith died. died. So, so we yeah, can't give it to. So we can't give it. Can't to give it to a dead yeah. fox. Can yeah, we? so Se Severith did the main amount of damage yeah. to the, the first Durthu, but and then the rest kind of like got the idea. Maybe yeah. that's what I. <laughs> yeah, he led the hunt. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> shoulda, woulda, coulda. Yeah. Anyway. It's really nice with this. Like, I thought it was dead when they changed the rules and you couldn't move in your opponent's shooting phase anymore. But it's actually, turns out, turns out, it's still, just as annoying. Still got, yeah. Well, yeah. it's still yeah. certainly a lot of fun to play. Still got play. Um, I, yeah. I don't know if it's. Well, well, we'll see if it's tournament worthy because I'm bringing it to an event. To Sabaton. Pretty soon. <laughs> Sabaton, so, yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah, so we'll we'll see how he gets on at that. Yeah. You'll have to have a look at the website to see how that goes on. Speaking of which, by all means, if you do have a chance, do have a look at the website. Do have a look at what's upcoming with the events and what's going up on the channel as well. And of course, that does mention the patron, just in case you want to join these wonderful two gentlemen in there and all their wonderful swag that they do get. But I think on that note, you both played hard, both played well, yeah, both had very, fun. Very good game. Big shake of the hands. And if you want to see more of this action, well, have a look at the other previous 66 episodes by all means. Or until next time, bye! bye.